Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we will discuss about centrifugal pump. Like. Working of centrifugal pump. Advantages and disadvantages of centrifugal pump. And the link for the video of the components of the centrifugal pump is given in the description box. So first let's see. Working of centrifugal pump. So in a centrifugal pump. The fluid is fed to the center of a rotating impeller. And then this liquid is thrown outward by centrifugal action. Hence in a centrifugal pump fluid is transferred due to the action of centrifugal force. But before starting the pump priming of the pump is done. But what is the priming? And why it is necessary to do priming? So in the priming operation. The suction pipe, pump casing and portion of the delivery pipe up to a delivery valve are completely filled with the liquid to be pumped. So that all the air, gas or vapor from this portion of the pump is expelled out. And no air pocket is left. And if even a very small air pocket is present in any of these portions. The pump will not discharge the liquid. Because the pressure generated by a centrifugal pump impeller is directly proportional to the density of fluid that is in contact with it. And hence, if the impeller is rotated in the presence of air, only negligible pressure would be produced and thus no liquid will be lifted by the pump. Then, when the pump is primed properly, the delivery valve is kept close. And power from an outside source that is an electric motor is applied to the shaft. As the delivery valve is kept close which reduces the starting torque for the motor. The impeller then rotates within the stationary casing. And the rotation of the impeller produces a forced vortex. Which imparts a centrifugal head to the liquid. And thus results in an increase of pressure throughout the liquid mass. But as the delivery valve is closed and the impeller is rotated. The water is not flowing outward. But when the delivery valve is opened. The liquid is made to flow in an outward radial direction. And thereby leaving the veins of the impeller at the outer circumference with high velocity and pressure. So due to centrifugal action, a partial vacuum is created at the eye of the impeller. This causes. The liquid from the reservoir at atmospheric pressure flows through the suction pipe to the eye of the impeller. And thereby replacing the liquid. Which is being discharged from the entire circumference of the impeller. So the high pressure of the liquid leaving the impeller is utilized in lifting the liquid to the required height through the delivery pipe. So during the operation, liquid receives energy from the veins, which increases both pressure and velocity energy. And hence the liquid leaves the impeller with a high absolute velocity. But if eddies are formed, the efficiency of the pump is thereby lowered. Hence the high velocity of the leaving liquid must be gradually reduced to the lower velocity in the delivery pipe. So, for that, a large portion of the kinetic energy is converted into useful pressure energy. Usually, this is achieved by shaping the casing such that the leaving liquid flows through a passage of a gradually expanded area which is called a volute casing. Hence the gradual increase in the flow area of the casing helps in maintaining uniform flow velocity throughout. Now let's see what are the advantages and disadvantages of the centrifugal pump. So centrifugal pump required fewer parts hence it is simple in construction. Then due to its simplicity of construction it can be made in a wide range of materials. And due to its simplicity of design its initial cost is low. Then as it operates at high speed it can be coupled directly to an electric motor. Then centrifugal pump gives a steady delivery. The maintenance cost of the centrifugal pump is low compared to other pumps. Most of the time it does not get damaged even if the delivery line becomes blocked. Or the delivery valve is closed. Provided the pump does not run in this condition for a prolonged period. Then centrifugal pump can handle liquids containing suspended solids. Another advantage is, for equal capacity, the centrifugal pump is much smaller than any other type of pump. Therefore, it can be made into a sealed unit with the driving motor and immersed in the suction tank. But there are some disadvantages of centrifugal pump. So the first disadvantage is, 
A centrifugal pump is not usually self-priming. Then it operates at low efficiencies of about 50 to 65 percent. It cannot handle very viscous liquids efficiently. Then it does not develop a high pressure. But multi-stage pumps will develop greater pressure heads. But they are much more expensive. And cannot be made into corrosion resistant materials because of their greater complex construction. Another disadvantage is. If a non-return valve is not provided in the delivery or suction line. So as soon as the pump stops the liquid will run back into the suction tank. So that's all about the working of the centrifugal pump. Advantages and disadvantages of the centrifugal pump. In the next video, we will see another topic related to pump. The link of the videos. Components of a centrifugal pump is given in the description box. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Edda.